taking a maxillary premolar period before radio act, which captures the first molar, second premolar, first premolar, and distal half of the canine. No contacts need to be open. Its primary purpose is to show the complete tooth and surrounding bone. To repair the unit, you will need two blue napkins, a Dixie cup, a size 2 film, a cassette, a few sets of gloves, a Kleenex to wipe off the phosphor plates, tabs, cotton rolls, rubber bands, and a mask is optional. Place two blue napkins on the countertop. <coughs> Cover exposure button with barrier film, and then bag the patient's chair. Once patient is seated, put on thyroid collar. Next, you will dump the film onto the napkins, making sure to only touch, touch the Dixie cup with bare hands. Glove up, open cassette, and place instruments on the napkins. To set up the XCP, choose the white collimator ring that is off-center. The correct bite block for posteriors the metal bar that corresponds with the ring. First, slide the collimator onto the metal bar, making sure the notches are facing the operator. On the bite block, place a cotton roll on the biting surface of the opposite arch, securing it with the rubber band. This helps stabilize the bite block. Slide the bite block onto the metal rod so it is centered in the circle. When placing the film in the bite block, you may use tabs if you choose to keep the film from moving. Make sure the A is always on the occlusal side of the radiograph by placing it on the edge of the film that is inserted into the bite block in landscape position. Place the size 2 film in the bite block with the black side facing you when looking through the circle. Turn on the machine and make sure the settings are correct for the appropriate radiograph. Select the premolar op option. Based upon the patient, select adult or child option. Insert phosphor plate in patient's mouth and position the XCP with a horizontal angle parallel with the contact between the premolars. Half patient slowly close. Push the ring up to the patient to achieve a positive 10 to 20 degree vertical angle. Make sure the PID is in a horizontal orientation and line it up with the notches in the ring. It should be parallel with the XCP. Stand behind the window and press the exposure button until the beep stops. Move the x-ray to the side and remove instruments from patient's mouth. Take the phosphor plate out of the bite block, remove tab, wipe it down with the tissue, and place it in the cup. Do not touch the cup with your, glove hand, your gloves. Remove gloves and take cup back to develop the film.